So I've always loved witches and wizards and big Harry Potter fan. So when I heard the words witch store, I had to go and see what this was. So I headed to New York City's oldest occult store. It's called Enchantments. Did you wear your all black just for us? I wore black a lot, <laughs> but I'm happy that you said that. Once inside, you are surrounded by books, broomsticks, herbs, black cats, everything that you can think of that you would think of when you hear of the word witch. Eros and Medea um, are staples of the place, so that was something that immediately I felt like I was in a witch and magical store. Nice. <laughs> Maybe I'm a cat whisperer. Oh, I'm a Eros whisperer. Eros whisperer. Even better. So I talked to the owner, Stacy Rapp, and she told me a little bit about the store and what it does for the people that visit it. Uh, we sell ingredients, supplies, tools, books. Um, the most common thing would be the spell candles and or the spell kits, which candle magic is a very easy place to start. And I had to ask about dark magic and evil spells because of course, just like everybody just talked about, that is what everybody thinks that this store is about. Bad magic is, or black magic, is magic that intends to do harm to another person. Um, we don't practice any form of black magic. We don't recommend it. People ask about it, we tell them no. But beyond all that is what they're known for, which is their custom carved candles, which are really intricate and are selling all over the world. It's carved with specific symbols for your request, money, love, work. Love is the most common. Glitter is used to outline the design. It's also a way to add a secondary color because different colors have different magical significance. And so blue is for protection, but white is also protection and cleansing. Okay. So that's why it's blue with silver. So then um, iron fillings are put into the jar. So it's a taste of honey and incense, which is really cool to watch. All right. Yep. <laughs> so guys, voila, this is my candle. All right, walk me through the symbols on that. So, so they carve it for you. So I give an intention, and depending on what my intention is, whether it's to find love, to find money, or whatever is the color of the candle. So what's purple? Purple is um, like success. There you, you go. Because I, I, you know, I, I really wanted to aim this at you know my career and you know where I could be going. So Jillian, it's a candle store. So it. it so they have a lot of candles, but there's books, there's statues, there's incense, and there's a whole wall of herbs. I mean, there's much more than just candles there. But they do carve them, and they are, you know, specifically for you. We're gonna have to send Ricky there, our editor. He thinks he has a hex on him.